Before he broke stories and won Emmys, CBS 2's Pablo Guzman was a key figure in a dramatic chapter in New York City history. Pablo's death this week at the age of 73 had us looking back at his role in the Young Lords Party. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports on the legacy and continuing impact. A street corner in East Harlem honors the Young Lords Party, a Latino-led radical movement with a brief lifespan but a lasting legacy. Pablo Yoruba Guzman was a co-founder at age 19. I don't think he really and fully understood the impact that he had. Mickey Melendez and Pablo met in the late 1960s, a time of dramatic social change, an awakening of Latino pride, a push for Puerto Rican independence. We were the generation um, that was asking why. Yeah, that's me, back when I was Minister of Information of the Young Lords Party. The party formed in 1969. Pablo had studied media theory and knew just what to do. Everything that we did in the Lords was based on Pablo's analysis of how you control your own narrative. So we had our own photographers, we had our own film crew, we had our own radio program, we had our own newspaper. The Young Lords shared the 1960s fervor for Marxist revolution. Many in the South Bronx and East Harlem had more immediate concerns. We went out there trying to talk about socialism and revolution, and people were saying, why don't you just pick up the garbage? The Young Lords got the message. They piled garbage on Third Avenue to force sanitation improvements, took over a church to offer free breakfast and other services, staged an action at Lincoln Hospital to protest health care inequities. The Young Lords Party did some splashy things, but it wasn't just to get attention. It was to affect change. Find out what the aspirations and the needs of the people are and try to figure out how to, how to address those needs. It worked. The city began to act on young Lord's priorities, including tuberculosis rates and lead paint poisoning of children. The building of the Lincoln Hospital, uh, all of the Puerto Rican and Latino studies programs that exist in the colleges today were a direct result of the protests that we were involved in back then. At the center of it all, Pablo Guzman. But this church is ours. This is a people's church. And all. He charmed the media when he was in the Lords, and then he charmed the viewers when he got on TV. He's a unique person in the history of, of New York City. Indeed, he was. Pablo's Young Lords activism put him on the radar of law enforcement. But years later, some of those who had once had him under surveillance became sources for Pablo's hard-hitting yeah. reporting. And Lonnie Quinn and I were just sitting here because we both worked with Pablo really for years. For and Lonnie, years. hard-hitting reporting, but the nicest guy you ever met. Without a doubt. He would yes. call somebody to the weather office and was just this, the, this sweetheart, this teddy bear of a guy, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And yet it is said, and I don't think it's to be debated, more street cred than anybody else out there. And, and look, he had a whole lifetime before he started reporting. Yeah, something else. Incredible. Something else.